In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the bunch tight end offense at a very high level whenever your opponent starts to do some of the popular adjustments to slow down the play PA boot over. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, we're going over today the bunch tight end offense. And if you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive guide, I actually have a three formation bundle where I break down the trips tight end offset, the bunch and the bunch tight end all in one offensive guide. So you can get that down in the description of this video. But what I want to focus on in this video is I really want to do a little bit of a deep dive into the bunch tight end after the fact, after they do some of the popular adjustments. And so what I've got here on, on defense is I've got kind of some basic 25, you know, kind of a Mabel setup. Um, if you don't know what that is at this point in the season, Mabel coverage is basically where they essentially have a 25 yard flat, a five yard curl flat. And what that does is it allows them to take away a lot of the sideline routes like crossing routes. The beauty of the bunch tight end is, and especially in Mutt, now give Brady some, some, some grace here, but I just want you to watch, essentially when you roll out with this play, Brady is going to be able to pass this up to Godwin. Now, in Mutt, um, that's going to be RG3 or somebody like RG3 with Gunslinger, and he's going to be able to hit that crossing route. Now, what you'll notice is if you look at this crosser to Godwin, you see that it you see it where it sharply angles up. Now, look if I hot route him. So Brady has hot route master. So I'm just going to reset the play, and I want you to watch. So this is what a standard crossing route looks like. Now, watch what happens when I hot routing you see that it's a little bit different it actually breaks um the the standard crossing route like a hot routed crossing route it breaks a little bit later in the route so i just want to show you what a hot routed crosser would look like against the same basic defense and again there's not a massive difference but you'll notice you might notice something so um again i'm just going to put godwin on a hot routed crosser double team here so i can roll out let that whole play action run. And now you'll see if I come over here, I'm going to have a little bit better of a route. So that's just a little bit of a nuance in terms of a difference of that. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about, just really kind of briefly mention this, is this the power of the rolling out as you're going. So the beauty of this is also the fact that we have a delay fade on the right. So as we roll out, if we see that these yellow zones will follow us, we're just going to release that delay fade. And as you can see, we've got a nice little pocket to throw that ball into. And so this is going to lead your opponent to do a couple of very specific type of adjustments. The first one that they're going to do is it's often that they're going to basically shift to a 30 yard flat zone to cover that. The next thing that they're going to probably do so that that hook curl will climb with the guy is either put these on 10 or they'll put them on default. Um, we're going to show you today what, what happens when they put them on default. Um, so that's kind of the biggest thing. So now what we're going to do is come back out in the play PA boot over. And I just want to show you, um, you know, what's going to happen. So if I come back out in PA boot over, I set up my, my just, you know, really simple setup to it's literally just delay fade the tight end and that's it you just literally that's all you do um and what you can also do i won't talk about that just yet but anyways if you watch now this 30 yard flat is got a little bit better of a shot now you see there in regs it it doesn't even guard it that's the crazy thing so that's a 30 yard flat zone and i pass committed and it's a corner right it's not a linebacker and yet you're still going to see that if I'm able to get out of the pocket here, it's still going to have a little bit of a pocket. Now, you see there it did stop it on that play, but that's just something that you want to keep in, in mind. Now, uh, one last thing I want to show you before we dive too far into the counters of this is what happens when you put a hot routed crosser on the field. So uh, I've got Godwin there with the proper route running, so he gets that nice deep crossing route. So if I roll out, I've got the crosser, and you're going to notice that I can actually get that over the top of that 30-yard flat. So 
more than likely, they might man up the crossing route. They, there's a lot of things that they could do to slow this down. Especially, you're also going to notice I'm running with my bunch on the short side of the field. If I were to run with my bunch on the wide side, which would be to the, put it on the right hash, I want you to watch. You're going to notice that the crossing route is going to get defended a lot better on this play. So it, it, uh, hash marks do actually matter in Madden like so much. But if you watch, watch this crossing route the triangle you're going to see that the flat is in a lot better position because there's just not enough grass for him to run. So this is why, you know, depending on the hash mark, there's some things that you need to, you know, kind of be aware of. There's, there's certain things that are really, really important. And it's also why I think that, you know, there's some valid reasoning to run this bunch tight end with the bunch receivers actually to the short side because typically you're going to get a defense that looks like this. Um, right here and this is what's going to open up kind of some of our other concepts one of those other concepts that this is going to open up is it's going to open up essentially um, and essentially all this is like if you think about the two plays from bunch tight end that are the most popular which is pa boot over and it looks like this right here okay so it's basically a right side flood and then it's also this play right here curl flat corner which is essentially a left side flood, okay? So that's those are like the two main plays. So the play that we're gonna go over in this video is called stick. And to run this properly, you really wanna have a tight end apprentice um, or a hot route master. However, you can run this, uh, there's, there's two different specific ways to run this, but this is really good. And the reason why is because this is the, this right here, whoops, I, I, I totally had it already set up. This right here is the default mode of your opponent. Like this is the way they're gonna defend bunch tight end, right here. They're gonna have a delay fade, and then it's typical that their user is gonna be kind of roaming, uh, roaming this middle, okay? So what you can do is kind of allow that to like really overplay it. So what we can do from a place like stick is we can take the tight end and put him on a crossing route. Now Gronkowski doesn't have the route running threshold that we want to have, but it, he still has, he, it'll be fine. Just put him on a crossing route, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Leonard Fournette or the running back and we're gonna put him on a ghost route or an option route. So if you don't have Hot Route Master, um, you can put him on a wheel route if you wanna pull the flat zones out. You can also put him on an option route. Both are very, very good, okay? Um, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna essentially create this, this is pretty much it. We don't have to do anything else. The one thing I will say is if you take this triangle receiver here and just put him on a vertical route, he's gonna pull. Like a lot of times he's gonna be the kind of guy that's gonna get cross manned. So he's gonna pull all of those zones out of the way for us. And then we're just gonna use this little hitch. Now what I like about this setup is the yellow zone can't guard either option route because of remember they either are going to go on default or they're going to go on 10 yards and these options these routes break shorter than that so it would look something like this and again just for the sake of of showing this i'm going to take my user on this play and i'm going to user the tight end okay so i'm just going to kind of give my user an assignment so you'll see something like this right here. And honestly, I probably prefer the option route. I think option routes are so, I still think they're underrated, um, but you wanna snap the ball like right here. And what you're gonna see is this yellow zone is not gonna get back onto Mike Evans. And you're gonna have a nice little easy pocket where you can throw that, um, that route just like that. Now you can pair this with another version of PA boot over that is essentially the same thing. It's actually a really good version to beat like if they're running a lot of cover four. So if they're taking this corner on the right and they're putting him in an outside quarter, if you motion over Mike Evans, make it look exactly the same, but you could essentially run boot over, right? You're just running in this direction now. And what this is gonna allow is it continues to allow space for you to hit your delay fade. And of course I didn't throw get a good throw, but that's that's the idea okay so then let's talk a little bit about um another adjustment uh that they could do which would be to essentially play man coverage and then to take their user and put him back here so this is another popular adjustment this is kind of how spam and buttons likes to defend this uh this package 
And what you're going to notice in, is if you leave the triangle receiver on his route and you streak the circle receiver, I just want to show you what happens. So you're going to see this natural motion. As if it's man coverage, you're going to see he's going to do this little cut, out cut. That's an easy read against man. So the cool part about that is you allow you you, you give yourself kind of a, a bailout if they you know if, if you guess wrong essentially. But I just want to show um, I want to show this other other thing. So first and foremost, you've got your your um, your quick read here, maybe to this this hitch um, or this out route or whatever, right? The other thing that you've got going for you though is if you wait on this option route, he's gonna almost every time beat man coverage rather easily to the right side so you've got an answer to man coverage in that regard as well so and again remember their user is going to be here because their user has to get to the crosser he's going to be flowing in this direction if the user comes down here let's say the user kind of sits in this area i just want to show you kind of how that's going to how that's going to play out you can actually do this entire play from hot routes um, which is why Hot Route Master is so like important at this point in the season. But if you watch this, whoops, I forgot to put the option route there. But this is the combo that we've created. Now, if you watch this tight end route, if they're not paying attention to him, he's going to get underneath that 30-yard flat zone, which is actually a really glitchy little deal because, again, remember, they have to 30-yard flat. So, you know, that's a little thing that you've got going for you as well. Um... One other thing I want to show is, again, we want to just show this right here real quick. So if I have my man coverage, and let's say the man coverage now wants to go guard the like middle, just the deep middle. Let's just say he guards deep middle, and let's just say you know he's going to kind of take a, a wince, so to speak. Um, he's going to kind of go to the crossing route, right? that's going to leave us this nice little pocket where we can throw our post route so it's really really simple little concept but it does a really good job against mabel coverage one last setup that i want to give you today is specifically designed for whenever your opponent starts to do something along the lines of this right here where he has two yellow zones and then he's got a user and he might do this um this might be an adjustment that he would do if he were to do something like this um, this is actually something that a lot of people are doing against bunch tight end. There's a way to run cover too that actually is a little bit better than this. But essentially, this is the play. And then let me um, let me blitz two people. So this is what the play looks like, right? What I like to do against something like that, um, specifically that little concept, is I really love to use motion snaps. So essentially, what we're gonna do, and you don't have to have any. The cool part is you don't have to have anything. If you have Hot Rod Master, it's like awesome. You don't have to have that. You can do this out of uh, a play like Inside Switch. Uh, as you can see, I've got a nice post route here. I've got a smart route of corner. I've got this table route. So what I like to do um, is essentially take the square receiver and I'm gonna put him on a hitch. I'm gonna take the circle receiver. I'm gonna put him on a flat. I'm gonna take the triangle receiver and I'm gonna put him on a hitch. Actually, I'm gonna take the triangle receiver and put him on a flat. I'm gonna take the circle receiver, put him on a hitch, just like this right here. And then what I'm gonna do is simply take the tight end and put him on either a post or a curl. Or if you have the, um, if you look at um, this this play right here, this is X spot. You could use this little route right here if you wanted to. Um, but again, I like to just use a post if I possibly can. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna snap and we're gonna put we're gonna snap Brown. Uh, outside once he gets to the numbers so we're trying to get into the numbers right here and this little quick throw is so smooth it's an easy way to just get a couple yards against a defense like that the other thing I want to show you is I want to show you how this does um, specifically against whoops let me create the cover two right so here's your setup so I want to show you how this route combo does against like um, Oh gosh, what am I trying to think of? Uh, like a yellow zone. So if you get this out here, if you wait on this hitch, you'll see the natural flow. See how the running back gets open? Um, the hitch basically will hold the zones in place and allow you to have the opportunity to be able to throw the throw the uh, little running back table route. So the table route is really, really important in this offense. Um, and again here, this we're just setting up basically a cover two. Did I get everything right here? I'm missing something actually. 
Oh yeah, right side guy. So if they curl flat on the right side, that's gonna do a little bit better of a job. And so what you'll see is, and this is a very, very unlikely defense to be honest. It, it actually is not a common way they're gonna defend. You could even put circle on a curl if you wanted to. But again, you just get him out here and you'll see that this post will get open right over the top of those underneath zones if the underneath zones are going to sit on the uh, if the underneath zones are going to sit like they normally would uh, in a situation like that so again here's cover two and then as you see so we're assuming that the middle linebacker is obviously the user on this play so another little setup that you can do um, let's say that he takes the post route let's just say that he takes the post route uh, I want you to kind of watch here. You'll you'll see, and I need to make sure that I have the right types of purples that will take care of the flat. So if I have the flats covered, so I've got curl flats on those. So if you watch this concept, we're taking the running back and just kind of putting him on a, a, a table route. So you see we get this, this route out here. Now this is where the smart route of curl comes in. You see that the vert hook will drift back to it, but you you have a window to throw that. Now, one last little version of this play that is really good if they're using something like a double vert hook setup. So last version of it, this is specifically designed to take advantage of this, this defense right here. And let's say we're doing, we got vert hooks everywhere, right? We got two vert hooks. Okay, so two vert hooks and we've got a user in the middle of the field. So how would we how would we attack the middle of the field with this? This is becoming actually quickly becoming one of my favorite routes in the entire game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, I'm going to use the same combo to Evans and to Godwin. I'm going to now put Brown on a post. If you don't have a post route, just put him on a smart route and dig. Okay, um, but I've got Brown on a post. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the running back, put him on the on the table route, just like this. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tight end and I'm going to put him on a crossing route or a streak. Okay, if you don't have Hot Route Master, just put him on a streak. If you do have Hot Route Master, I would recommend the crossing route. So we're back to that stick setup. Um, and now what you're going to see is when we motion this guy over, if we get him out enough, out in the field enough, not only do we have that quick dig route, we got that read coming right underneath of everything. So this is a simple way to deal with that double Mabel uh, concept. And then I've got one last one I got to share. Um, I got to share this one. This is uh, a really, really, so it's super simple. It's, it's There's like nothing to this. But this is uh, more of like uh, if you wanted something underneath. So if you if you want something underneath like that, and again, we're just assuming that they're always going to use her deep to short. Obviously, you have this post uh, that you could use. But let's talk about the double curl. So uh, we're going to do that. So we're going to use two curls, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the circle receiver. We're going to still use this table route to the running back. But essentially, what we're going to do with the circle receiver is we're going to turn him into a curl as well. So we've got we've got a, a an all basically an all curl concept. Get him out to the numbers just like so. And now you'll see that this vert hook is going to leave, and you're going to have this X wide open over the middle. So those are several little ways that you can deal with the double Mabel concept from the bunch tight end just to simply and smoothly work the ball up and down the field. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you're still watching this video, chances are you are really looking to get better at Madden 21. And so if you have not signed up for my true fan membership yet, I wanna encourage you to do that. Um, basically what a true fan membership is, is it's a monthly membership where you get three new videos every single week, 12 new videos, every single month they're exclusive videos i don't share them with anyone on any other platform other than my true fans not even ebook members will get these these are high high level videos deep dives into concepts and rules and things about the offensive meta the defensive meta and we also share with you actual real live film study of the best players in the world and literally 
break down in fine detail exactly what they are doing. And so if you want to take your Madden game to a whole new level, I want to encourage you to sign up for the True Fan membership. You can get it at the link in the description. You can get it for just $5 a month. For $5 a month, you're going to be equipped with the best offenses in the game, the best defenses in the game, and the best film study analysis possible. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you want to sign up for the True Fan membership, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description.